Today we're doing a very nice wizard build. My favorite build all in all because if you're just wanting to have fun, this is the build for you because pretty much things die and that's how it works. That's how things work around here. Things will die and that's how it works. So we're going to show you a little bit of gameplay before we actually get into the build itself. But I will let you in on a little bit of the premise of the build on how like to space out because you definitely don't want to be up close because you are going to be really squishy in this build so you want to use your CC very wisely and always use items to give you pretty much free extra life those are always helpful very helpful especially like putting in skeleton game is probably your best bet to do that so Let's kill all those dudes. We're gonna teleport home, home. Well, not permanent home. <laughs> um, yeah. So we're gonna take a look at the skills first. And then, of course, they're the most important, especially with the Tal's meteor build. So the electrocute surge of power is your first skill. And then normally people would be using piercing orb, but I think the extra arcane power is really helpful. Especially if you're low. Personally, me, I'm low. So you're gonna lose back um, uh, resource cost reduction and spells that give you arcane power. Because 40 arcane power is a lot with um, the almost low amount of arcane power you're at. And you're gonna want black hole. So that's always important, especially when you're needing CCs. So then you want Hydra. Hydra is really helpful. One of the main abilities it's doing damage, especially with the amount of damage we're gonna get. And then you already know Blizzard Frozen Solid, and then your two buffs, your energy armor and your magic weapon. I'm using pinpoint armor, but if you think that you are dying too much, you can use prismatic armor. But if you know how to space out, you should be fine at the point. Uh, passage, you're gonna want um, evocation for 20% cooldown reduction, which is really helpful. And then you want um, glass cannon, which is 15% increased damage. Which yeah, it gives you 10% less, but it kind of your um, energy armor kind of makes up for that. So then you're gonna want elemental exposure, which we'll factor in later when I explain the gear um, and then blur personally for me because I die a lot sometimes um, <laughs> if you use unwavering will you're gonna have to be able to space out and be able to stand still so you're, you're gonna be using your frozen solid a lot so if you don't want to lose the 20 arcane power from energy I mean, you can use energy tap but it's kind of risky so I would typically just take blur instead of unwavering will because it's amazing um, all right so now we're gonna look at the gear and first I'm gonna explain this set to you so you have the Talrashes set the pieces you're gonna want are typically the, um, the pants the belt the chest the head and the gloves if you want you can go the amulet and go a different glove slot here but I decided to do this and um, you're obviously going to want to focus restraint and the way this set works is when you use one of your abilities so say I use electric it's going to drop a lightning meteor and that's always helpful in, in any of the elements that you use but the sixth set is the more important thing attacks increase your damage by 150 percent for six seconds arcane cold fire and lightning which goes up to four stacks for the four elements. And that is around, uh, let me do math really quick, um, <laughs> 15 times four, come on. 60, 600% increase to damage. And then you have the Nilfer's Bush, which is meteors are your main source of damage, so that's around 780% damage, plus, your um, 
20% flat increase, so we'll just count that as 800%, 805%, and 820% increased damage. And we'll take 825% because crit is whatever. Plus this, and if you get a good group, that increase is amazing. Around 900% increased damage. Which is insane. So which is why this build shines a lot, even now, when a lot of people are going DMOs or something like that. So, that is the basic overview. You're gonna want Pudge of the Skeleton King, Serpent Sparker, and if you're using Electric Kit, you could take, you could put in a Mykins. Um, speaking of gear, you're gonna want Kanai's powers, you're gonna want Smoldering Core for those enemies that escape your grasp from the CC and you're gonna want I, I take gloves of worship for rifting but if you're going uh, I don't have I haven't cubed much but if you're going in like a greater rift and you want to go quickly you can go nemesis or uh, nemesis is probably one of the best options I have personally but yeah, that is probably your best bet for greater rifts. But if I'm using, if I'm doing normal rifts, I'm gonna use gloves of worship because you're more likely to find a regular um, shrine. And then Rorg is helpful. So Rorg, or you can take uh, like a Unity and put that on here. Uh, so if you're soloing, of course. But, or you want Zodiac Ring or something like that. And I'm being called, I will call him back. But, sorry about that. Um, yeah, so, that is pretty much the build. And you already saw the gameplay, but I'm gonna explain to you the rotation. Of course, you wanna always have your buffs up. You wanna CC. And then, when you have three stacks, use your hydras. Because the fire meteor does the most damage and it can get up to, for me it's gotten to 2 billion to 3 billion max. Which is going to kill most mobs that you're going to be encountering. So, that is the build that I have brought to you today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comment section if this helped you. Please leave a like, comment, favorite, subscribe, and that's it. So, I'll see you next time.